what's up guys welcome back to another video on my youtube channel this is also an editing video where i really want to show you how i go about editing pictures like this in lightroom and also in photoshop this is one of the images i got from the shoot i did at the river house the high sense vomit i have uploaded a video of it i will link it up here you can go check it out or i'll leave it down i'll leave the link down in the description below before I get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon and also don't forget to share this video at the end. Also don't forget to give me a like or just smash the like button just so that my video goes very far when it comes to the YouTube's algorithm then you're just putting up these days. Right, so with this particular shot, I shot with my Canon 5D Mark IV, the 50mm STM 1.8, I think I mentioned in the one of my videos that no one should underestimate the 15 millimeter lens i really really got surprised by the 15 millimeter lens and i shot at f4 iso 100 and my shutter speed was um, based on the aperture priority setting so if you're interested in um, learning how to shoot aperture priority under the sun i have a video i will link that also in the description i'm, I'm sure i'm sure i'm going to leave it up here Right, so let's just get into editing this particular shot. I love this shot just because I shot it very early in the morning. So when I hold I or when I tap I on the keyboard and tap I again, here in Lightroom, you can see the time I shot. I shot this at 8.21. Um, it was on the 27th of May, 2021. So somewhere around 8 in the morning, the sun was directional coming in from camera right. If you can see, you can see the shadow being to the left so let's just get into editing this particular shot I before I get into this I'm going to use my color profile that I have been selling for quite a while I'm going to use it in color grading so if you already have my color profile this is going to really be easy for you if you don't I am still selling hit me up in my DMs I'm going to leave down there in the description my Instagram handle hit me up let's communicate on how you can get your hands on these color profiles so for those who already have my color profiles this is going to really be easy for you so looking at this image i am going to really change a lot of things just with the color profile then i'll do some basic adjustments then i'm ready to go and also looking at this particular image i am looking at the film kind of grade with every color toned down i think i put up some images which i shot from this location i did a grade and i muted a lot of colors and I got a lot of people's attention so that is exactly what i'm going to do to this particular image with my subject or my model in here so what i'll do is go to the basic make sure i change my profile from um the adobe color profile to for this i'm going to use a standard profile so let's see between the vivid and the standard i'll go in for the standard there's one thing about the standard Whenever I'm using the standard, I feel like I have a lot of blues in my shadows and even in my blacks and my blacks are kind of crashed. So when I hold J on the keyboard, you can see that my blacks or my shadows are kind of clipping or they are clipping. So the first thing I'll do is to warm up this picture. I'm sending it to send it all the way to 7000, right? And it becomes too colorful. And what do you do to an image if you've been following me on my YouTube channel? You know, I mostly all the time reduce the color in the image. So I'm going to keep it somewhere here. Let me make sure this is rotated correctly or oriented correctly. I think I like this. This is how I go about editing such images. So let me quickly show you a before, right? And an after. I feel like I need to open up some. I need to open up my shadows because they feel too dark. If you look at the histogram over here, you can see they are far into the blacks. So I'm going to lift up my blacks a little bit, right? I think this is fine for me. And I'm going to lift up my shadows too, just so that I have some information here in the hair. Right, I love what I'm seeing. I'm just going to reduce the exposure just a little bit. And there I have that. I think I like what I'm saying. Do I want to reduce the white? Okay, reducing the white is also doing a thing. I really want to keep this. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Let me send this back. Reducing the highlights took a lot of lights away. So what I'm going to do is 
first off i forgot i always all the time enable lens correction just so that i don't mess up when it comes to um brightness i'm going to reduce the highlight a little bit and increase bring back the exposure so the highlights will go down and this is fine what do you guys think so far of what you see so like i mentioned i'm going to put this in the film kind of grade where you have film grains or film grades have this feel of um greens in their highlights they have some blues in their shadows and they have some warmth in their midtones right so you're going to mimic that here and before we get into color grading i am going to just move in here and try and play around with these hues and see what's happening and i want to make the blue steel i think the teal only happens here in the aqua and let's see that of the greens right so i think i'm going to keep the greens this way and that's perfect and also i'll make sure i want she's a light skin model with the characteristic of yellows in her skin canon gives this kind of red color so i'm going to just push some yellows into her skin and if you've been following me on my color grading videos you do realize majority of the skin tone is always found in the oranges so this is the before and this is the after just the hsl tab over here now into this i did mention with the film grain or with the film grade let me put it that way we have some greens right i hold shift and i'll make sure i'm in my greens and i'll add a little bit of saturation to the greens and the highlights for you to be able to do that make sure you select the highlights which is the last one over here tap on this so that you have the values then you can move it in accordance to what you want i can keep pulling this to the right and as you can see add greens into my highlights and that's not what i'm looking for so this much is fine for me i'm going to push some warmth into my midtones keep it here and maybe this is fine then i come into my shadows right add some blues and this always works for me so let's take a quick look at the before and the after this is as subtle as it comes you can see the greens and the highlights you can also see the blues in the shadows and the warmth i think i need to add more warm to this if i want to see the effect lovely so this is the before and the after and for me all the time i don't like keeping my images sharp i want it as soft as possible just because i know after shooting i'm going to get a lot of texture on her skin so i want her looking as soft as possible when it comes to editing here in lightroom so camera calibration i'm not really going to touch anything with the effects i feel like i can add some grains to it right let's see and there we have it i'm going to rotate it quite a little bit so that the horizon sits well with my eye and let's see a quick before and after so this is a before and this is an after so this is for all those who have my color profiles majority of the work was done over here in the tjd standard so if you have this you can follow this kind of grading in your pictures when you shoot outdoor you can even use them indoors i think i have an image with that in there but yeah you can use it and it will take your image from this to that with these kind of adjustments i made and also i really want to keep the color in here so i'm going to just move this up a little bit the saturation of the yellows sorry oh i'm touching the oranges instead okay so let's see i think i saw some beautiful increase in color but let's see that of the yellows too much too much i think plus eight is fine um and that's about it that's really what i will do here in lightroom concerning grading this particular outdoor editorial fashion look i shot during my visit to the high sense vomit which i have a video linked up here 
and down in the description below. If you have any questions so far, kindly let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to send this into Photoshop or should I just do a part 2 version of this? Okay, fine. I'm going to do a part 2 version of this where I will send this particular image into Photoshop. Do a lot of, um, should I say a lot? I just do some little touches to which I will do to this particular image if I am to edit it in Photoshop when it comes to editing fashion swimwear. And that, I think that's how I'll put it, fashion swimwear. Right. Before I end this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is kind of important to me. Don't forget to share this video to other friends who might be interested in learning a thing or two about color grading in Lightroom and how you can go about it, how you can break it down. Because I feel like I broke everything down when it came to color grading here by saying with film looks, I'm looking at um, greens in the highlights, warmth in the midtones, and blues in the shadows. That's my deduction of film looks when I look when I watch most movies. So that's about it and I hope this was informative enough. If you have any questions, kindly leave it down in the comment section below and I'll really be glad to tackle that particular question you have about this video. Don't forget to subscribe as usual and also don't forget to keep on learning, keep on practicing and I will see you in the next video of this particular image I'm going to edit in Photoshop. Peace.